Okay, here we are again. I'm working in Blender 2.5 beta. I actually think it's Blender 2.55. Um, and we're going to look at uh, just putting an image in the background. Uh, this is of your view. Uh, this is something so you can model over something or align something with a video that you may uh, use the compositor or sequencer or another video editor to, um, to uh, add effects over later on. Uh, I'll remind you again at the end that this is not going to show up when you go to render. This is for while you're working. Um, but here we go. We're in a default view here. I am going to make sure my cursor is over to the 3D view. I'm going to hit N, and that brings up this little extra menu here. Stretch it out a little bit here. And if down, we can see background images. Let's expand that. Let's check it to enable it, and we'll click Add Image. Uh, and not set let's tab that down so click that and we'll click open go to my home folder here uh, we can pick uh, still pictures or we can pick a video I'm gonna pick this video right here so right now you don't see anything you can see that this says all views well let me put my cursor over 3d view here and hit zero on the number pad that will bring us to our camera view and there you are you can see the video in the background right there if I hit Alt A, you can see it starts playing our animation and also playing our background video. Me doing a little dance in front of our webcam. Okay. I'll hit escape to stop that. But once again, we'll hit one on the nerd pad. We'll go to front view, nothing. Seven for top view, nothing. Three for side view, nothing. Why is it not showing up when we have all views set? You can see you can also change it to front, right, left, all that stuff. So why is it not showing up? And that's because we have perspective mode on. Uh, and the way we get out of that is if you hit F, uh, not F5, if you hit 5 on your number pad, boom. And that gets rid of the depth, which usually you will do when you're modeling over a image uh, such as this one. So there we are in side view. If I hit 1 to go to front view, go to camera view again, 7 to go to top view. But if I hit 5 again to get out of that and have perspective, you can see it goes away. So you can't have perspective on when you have an image in the background. That may be why you're not seeing it if you've tried this and it didn't show up. It took me a few minutes to figure out. And uh, to, just to explain the difference between perspective mode and non-perspective mode, I'll hit Z to go into transparent mode. You can see our cube there. You can see it flat and it just looks like a square, not a cube. If I hit 5, you can see the depth. You can see the edges and uh, it's actually more realistic, but lots of times when you're modeling, you don't want to be in that so you can line things up properly. Because I'll give you an example. If I hit Shift D and I clone this cube, trying to line them up next to each other can be a little awkward with all these extra lines. But if I hit f five, I can hit G and grab that, and you can see, I can hold down Control to cheat and it will lock to it, but you can see where they line up a lot easier because you don't have that perspective on. So lots of times when you're working, you'll use that uh, to make things easier to see, especially if you're modeling over an image. Like if you're going to do a box model of me here and you're going to start moving these points around, you know. Anyway, that is how you get the background view again. That was pretty short, so I'll go over it again. If you don't want to see it again, you can stop watching the videos now, but visit filmsbychris.com. I'll go new scene up here, and the 3D view I'll hit N, stretch this out a little bit, go down here, I'll check background image, add image, click on the not set, open, go to wherever you have an image, this time I'll just choose a picture, and click open. Once again, it doesn't show up if I hit 5 at this point. It still doesn't show up because this is a, kind of a side view here. I'll hit 1, front view, 7, top view. And these are on the number pad, not on your number row here. 3 for side view. And we'll hit 0 for camera view. That is how you add a background image. Thanks for watching. Visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. Uh, also visit our forum, filmsbychris.com forward slash forum. It's a great place to share projects you're working on, especially Blender projects. You can upload Blend files, especially if you're having a problem uh, where you're trying to figure out what you're doing wrong. You can upload the Blend file there. You should be able to. And um, 
when other people can look at it, I can look at it and troubleshoot. It's hard to see what your problem is when I can't see what you're working with. So that's a great thing. Also, if you create something, a game in Blender or a model, and you'd like to share it, that's a great place to share. Um, and we can all work as a community to build something neat, maybe. So that's filmswagchris.com forward slash forum. And I hope that you have a great day. Remember, Chris is spelt with a K. There's a link in the description. Have a great day.